today. Hey, Julie. In getting ready for this soap, everybody asks all the time, what's your favorite soap? Um, I have never used this particular soap. So we, a couple of years ago, drove out, we would, um, whenever I needed some relaxing time, we would go out east on Long Island. We would go to Montauk. And the nickname for Montauk is The End because it's the end of the United States. Like, you can't go any further east than that. Am I correct? No, you can go further up in Maine. Well, yeah, up in Maine. Okay. So in New York, it's like as far as you can go east without jumping into the Atlantic Ocean. So while we were there, we sent my son into the water and we had him um, fill up a, a jar of ocean water from, you know, Montauk and the Hamptons. It's like that whole ritzy area, whatever. We live right on the ocean here too. I could have gotten it here too, but I don't like the beaches here. They're gross. Well, it doesn't is, have, the the soap is the end, yeah, it doesn't have the appeal of the end. So we drove all the way out there and we did some research on how to make a brine bar. So anyway, we made the brine bar with our regular recipe, but instead of using water, which we don't usually use water, we use aloe, aloe vera juice. Um, so this time we're going to use, in place of the aloe vera juice, we, we did some aloe vera juice and some of the, sea, the ocean water. Now this ocean water has been boiled down to get all the impurities out and, and frozen. frozen and, and just <coughs> filtered. filtered, you name it. We've done everything to um, make it as clean as we can, but it is a salt, a salt water bar. Now the awesome thing about that is it's I mean, going to make... This is also, I don't know anybody who has seen other people do salt bars. This is not a salt bar. This is not where you add... It's a very different thing when people add salt directly into the soap. Mm -hmm. It's a completely different thing. And we're not... And Even John said, um, how, when do we cut this one? So we might have to wake up in the morning and cut this tomorrow morning. Right away. Because brine bars and salt bars are a salt bar july is some people will take um you know just table salt and add it to like the almost, batter almost or add it to the lye like 50 percent yeah, worth of the oils a ton of it and then <clears throat> typically those you put in individual molds you know like into your silicone individual flour no mold or whatever it. because you can't cut it because it gets really hard really fast and right you unmold them like two or three hours okay, later so, oh boy february is shaping up to be a big soap by month <laughs> But anyway, people always ask us, what's your favorite bar? And this is his favorite bar. What's and, up, Jesse? Hey, Jesse. And when people ask me what my favorite bar is, I alternate between different fragrances and different looks. Right now, my favorite bar is the Lemon Poppy Bar. Backwards for us. Let's see. I use Himalayan salt in one of my bars, and it hardens a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. it definitely hardens a lot faster. This so, is, and this has actually got a different feel, because the soap, I mean, the salt is completely dissolved. Right. In the water. In the water because it's, it's ocean water. It, even if you leave it, it doesn't separate. Right. So it's not like a... So when people ask John what his favorite bar is, he's not going to tell you his favorite bar based on a color or based on a fragrance because he doesn't ha he has no sense of smell. He never has had a sense of smell. smell. So when he's telling you that he loves this bar of soap more than any other one that we've made, it's because of the way that it makes his skin feel. And the way he described it is... When you go into the ocean, you know, when you go to the beach and you go to the ocean, it's a nice sunny day and you get out of the water and your face and your skin has that like taut feeling to it, like that tight, oh, I just went into the ocean feel. That's what this soap like this. made him feel like. Now, I don't remember ever using this soap, so I, could, I don't know, I can't verify that for you, but this is his favorite bar of soap, so much so that we have the, uh, um, he pulled out, he had me pull out an extra 50 ounces of oil so we can make our own uh, loaf mini soap. loaf of this bar just for him, right? Because that's- well, for us, you well, can have some. For, you I'm can allowed, have at least one. I'm allowed to use one of the 10 bars, I hear. Uh, but another thing that we're adding into this soap today, into our, you know, we're, we're gonna do... Um, yeah, Nicole said I hate that feeling, but I'm gonna try it. Right. <clears throat> uh, we're doing a drop swirl with this, okay. right? And we're adding into, we're gonna do three colors. We're doing Snake Island, right? I love this. Uh, we're, cause you were thinking, you know, it's ocean, it's a sea bar, it's an ocean, the end bar, right? We're doing some Twilight, right? We're gonna mix those together. I'm gonna do a little bit of titanium dioxide, very, very little for white, 
And then I'm also doing a very, very little bit of Sexy Stranger on a Train. And into the Sexy Stranger on a Train, I added some uh, kelp, okay? And now that's gonna swirl throughout the bar. And the kelp is gonna be good for a light exfoliation. And what else is kelp good for? Well, it's a sea product. It's kind of tying in the whole sea. Yeah, well, yeah, that's why well, we're mainly, using... It's mainly like a light exfoliant. Can yeah, hello. It's, um, a, uh, it's a light exfoliant, and normally for an exfoliant we use things like in the, in the um, poppy seeds. lemon poppy, we use poppy seeds for exfoliant. In the grease monkey, we use pumice That's really and walnut hull. Let me put my gloves on because safety first. So I'm going to, it's got some foam on it, my lye solution, because it's the ocean water and aloe vera. I have a spatula here, a single spatula, but I need my... Uh, I have a whisk, I have the spatula, I need the strainer. Yeah, I'll wait. So my plan is, I'm gonna pour the lye solution in here, and then I'm gonna separate it into four separate parts. One for the green, one for the blue, one for the brown, and a little tiny bit for the white. And then I'll start pouring it. Uh, and I'm gonna use, oh, oh, and we're using a fragrance. That's what's making this different than the last time that we made it. Last time we made it, we did it with a, spear, a eucalyptus spearmint, but since we have rehab soap that has eucalyptus spearmint in it, I know that a lot of people have been uh, asking for this fragrance, especially in the past couple of days. We're going with lemongrass green tea, okay? So that's what this one's going to be, and I think that's it. Make it next. next. Okay. Good. 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 Little tiny bit for. Right. No way. Keep going. Get it all. Sand colors for guys. We tend to do, uh, a lot of people do like the real blue, blue kind of thing. We do the, the greens and the blues here. Yeah, we're up, up, here, up here in the northeast. This is, have, like, this is what the ocean blues. looks like. This is much more accurate in depicting the ocean here. Do you sing or play an instrument or both? John, uh,
this way? Yeah, this way. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to swirl it too much because I don't want to muddy the colors. Unfortunately, the pictures for this won't be on Instagram tonight. Do not answer any DMs or anything from us until we get this thing all settled. We'll be hacked right today. So, uh, with this soap, it's scented with lemongrass, and we have some blue and green, and I have a little bit of white, and then this natural kind of look. And you can see that has um, the sea kelp in it. So, because this is ocean water that it's made with.